very good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, we are going to start talking on the biography of T. S. Eliot at first. As our target is to discuss his great essay title Tradition and Individual Talent. So from the very first slide you could understand that he was born on 1888 and he died in 1964. And his full name is Thomas Stern in the mostly we know T. S. Eliot, but his full name is Thomas Stern Eliot. And this is T. S. Eliot's point. Yes. So, biography. When he was born, and his full name is already we have mentioned the Thomas Stern. In the frequently you should utter it, otherwise you cannot recall your memories. What is his full name? Okay. Second thing is that when he was born, September 26, 1888, where in Missouri. Okay. Then his father, Henry Ware Elliot, he was the president of the Hydraulic Brake Company. Sorry, what was the company? Then about his mother, his mother, Charlotte Chan Stearns, and she was a volunteer at the Military Club of Saint Louis, and she was a teacher. Then we will see his education. First of all, uh, he was a student of Harvard University. Then, completing his undergraduation and graduation, or the post graduation, he went to the master's degree. He came from Harvard University. Why we have mentioned that? Whenever we see that most of the renowned uh, writers, poets, or other figures, they got admitted Harvard University, Cambridge University, Oxford. But, or Oxford University. But without completion their graduation, they returned. He is exceptional. He completed his postgraduates and graduates as well. At the same time, he went to Harvard to complete or to did his PhD. Okay? In philosophy. More interestingly, you have seen that. He did his master's degree. Doctorate or PhD. PhD, not in English language or literature, but he did it in another discipline that is. So these are his personal affairs, personal matter. In 1950, he got married first time. What does it indicate that first time or first wife? That means he has a lot of points. He may might have or may have got married. More than one. Okay. So, uh, what is our first wife's name? Vivian High. 1917 began working at Lloyd Bank in London. So, track is different. He was not actually a. Uh, he started his job in an educational institution, or it is not his profession. He changed frequently his profession, but. From the other different disciplines of the professions, he succeeded wonderfully and remarkably. Okay? Then what we say in 1927 converted into an Anglicanism. Yes. 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 the caste of the Christianism. Yes. Then in 1933, separated from the first wife, divorced his wife, and 1948. He Nobel became Prize. a Nobel Prize laureate, Nobel Prize, when? 1948. 1948. Next, what do we say? 1957, married the second child. This man. This man. Valerie. Valerie Fletcher. And she had been his secretary and publishing house. So, it's a very difficult. Whenever you are being a, you have a private secretary, Secretary, either she is married or married, and they could became very close and got married. So 
so don't try to do it in your life as well. Eh? So what? In 1965, he, he died. Where? In London at the age of 77. Oh, this is the name of his house actually. So we can uh, repeat. What is his full, full name? Thomas, Thomas Stern, Stern, Stern Elliot. Yeah. Okay? Yes. When he was born? September 26, 1888. 18, 18, 18. Okay? Where? In Missouri. In Missouri. He was a student at Harvard University. He completed his postgraduate and graduate from there and returned to London. London. Again, he went to Harvard for doing his PhD degree in philosophy. He started his career as a banker. As a banker. And he got Nobel Prize when? 1940. 48. 48. 48. Yes. And he died when? 1965. So, I am getting some confusion. The ministry or secretary was his wife. Personal secretary. Personal secretary. Yes. Publishing house. Publishing house. Publishing house. Publishing house means you know that from where she published, he publishes his books frequently. Like this, okay? This is not the dignified one. Yes, okay. So this is his work. First of all, you have read one of the points from this collection. Uh, it was published when provoked another observations in 1970. It is the first collection of first collection of his writing, but not the first publishing. First publishing, which one? The first writing, first poem in his life. Okay. And second one is poems, a collection of poems. It was published in 1919. Then the second wood, it was published in 1920. This is the uh, another remarkable text we have read already. The Westman was published in 1922. Then Ash, Wednesday, Wednesday, it was published in 1927. So. What does it mean that? What does it indicate? It indicates that it is a series of publications. Okay? Then what you see? Quarters. 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 It was published in 1943. Then Marina. It was published in 1993. It should be actually used early uh, rather than uh, four quarter. Then final one. You can say that. Cocktail. Party. Have you do you have any experience about the cocktail party? No, no, sir. So uh, in brief, we'll highlight three texts. First of all, the love song of J. Alfred Prophet. You have already read it. Second one we'll highlight the Westland. Third one is about the the Holloman. The Holloman is also is a remarkable point in his life. So, <coughs> this is the cover page of the love song of J. Alfred Prokho and the uh, word uh, it deals, it deals about the love, it deals in decision, in decision of word, this is the one of the characteristics of the model, people, that powerlessness, importance, then steam of consciousness. As you have read the modern novel, you are familiar with this, especially James Joyce's novel, a portrait of the artist as a young man, where we have seen that stream of consciousness is the main thing and it is one of the main features of the main characters of the modern people. In a nutshell, we can say that what is the stream of consciousness? As you are listening to me at the same time, you are thinking the other thing as well. A man at a time can think five things, five matters in his mind. So and these are coming, these are changing his mind and this makes or turns the people unrest as well this is a word, it's from consciousness So, here T.S. Eliot is saying that human mind can change time in a minute time in a minute that's why it is relevant to what? it's from consciousness as, as I have already mentioned that at the very beginning you may have listened to me very attentively but later on uh, you may have uh, listening to me at the same time you are thinking other thing as well. It, it, it indicates that within a single moment you have changed your 
mind as well. Okay? So, <laughs> what is the context of this poem? The poem takes place at a train, uh, sorry, tea party, and the speaker anticipates addressing a woman with he nice. The first one covers which one love appears is there. Okay? Second, the you and I most likely refers to to aspects of the same person, the pessimist and the optimist. optimist. When you becoming an optimist, when you have lost interest of your life, when you think that I have no value in my society, I'm no one in my family as well, even my wife or my husband may not care me properly. So in that time you are becoming optimist. In that time you are thinking that you in that time oh, sorry, uh, sorry, pessimist. In that time you are pessimist. When we are becoming the optimist, thank you for your correction. When we become the optimist, when we know that I have the value, not the opposite of the one, later on we will discuss it and that is called the binary opposite. Binary opposite means the binary, dual opposite. Day, day. What is the opposite of it? Night, night. Night. So, light, dark, man, omen, true, false, true, false, optimist, pessimist, okay? Pessimism is there. And in that case, we see that optimism. So, whenever you are thinking everything is far away from you, that is the third person. In that time, you are becoming pessimist or Whenever you are thinking that this is I, I have the value, I have the contribution, I have the fame. Voting affairs with the other people, connecting with the other people, in that term I can think that this is a word, optimist. <coughs> well, these are common interpretations for the poem. There are many different words. Then uh, we will highlight in brief about what the wasteland so there are five sections you have read that it's a really still now controversial <coughs> talking some people say that wasteland is a collection of poems how many poems are there there are five points but most of the critics claim that no it's not a series of poems it's a word it's a collection it's a single poem but it has a five segmentations yes. what are the groups the burial of the dead, the first one, the second one, the game of chase, the fire, the sermon, dead by water, and finally we see that, what the thunder said. The what is the last three words? Datta, Jayabam, etc. Okay? What? Observation, peace, and expression. Okay? Then the theme of the wasteland, uh, it was uh, actually he highlights after the context of the second world, uh, sorry, first world war yes. in Europe and before the second world war. And you know that in 1914, the sec first world war started, it ended in 1919. 19. Okay, just after three years he had written the impact of the first world war. So what? The fragmented and destroyed. So word never invites a word, integration. It always invites a word, fragmentation. At the same time, destroyed. And sexuality is there. In game of chess, you see there is a relationship. There is a relationship, a couple. Extramarital relationship is there. But what they are mixing physically, they don't know. They are coming, doing their sex, and they are leaving the house. And ambition. What does it mean that after the first world war, the people are becoming very much adamant of what? First, first doing sex. Yeah. And it indicates when it happens, when it becomes more and more, when they are frustrated. Frustrated. Frustration is there. And what? Repression. Globalization. Under the globalization, you want to, your intention is to what? To make the new colony. New, new colony that is to dominate all over the country all over the world, not only the country, all over the world. And technological advancement and communication, multiple voices. So you are saying a technological voice, technological advancement. Whenever you have seen that there is a technological advancement, 
you are being connected with the other people at the same time you are losing your own identity your own culture your own patience as well you are hiring the other and the western people actually tries to work export their ideas cultures so that you can be hegemonized and you can change your mind as well okay then what next one comment on the problems of modern society turning and turning in the we do in the leg spirituality leg community so you have seen that nowadays the people are what lack of moral knowledge because of they are not practicing religious activities or they are not doing their religious activities properly in the west and you have seen it a number of unethical tasks moral tasks we are experienced there then had a theme already we have mentioned that disillusionment this gas to the period of after the second world war uh, so first world war then contrast between the first fertility and the present fertility and a mystical past linked to a new concept of history the repetition of the same events and why the modern people are, uh, are trying to repeat uh, something else frequently this trend to make it his own eyes one example we can say that lux it's a branded so you know that so so whenever the company stops advertising it what do you think that new one will take the place take the place yes. and you will forget about the lux when i was a kid frequently i see that people used to use to one is what uh, costco another is like now the people are not use it why yet yeah, as you have seen in a advertisement so that's why the frequent or repetition is important this is one of the aspects of modernism later on we will discuss modernism as well so this is a watch the holoman you have seen the portrayal of the holoman what have you seen his head something yes. else is about back back what Nothing is there. Bring it. What? The Quran. So our mind is that nothing is there. What we listen to, what we listen to the other, listen from other, we are trying to use it. So that's that's why we have no individual identity. Rather, we are the floating one. Identity less. Then this is the declaration. of the boy tsl yes what we are the hollow men we are the stars men leaning together leaning together and have peace filled with this straw in your head it is full of what it's straw straw rotten product poisonous diseases so nothing comes there yeah. well what good things you cannot get any good substance from your head because of the hollowness from your mind so this is the nature of the hollow man the modern people is treated or called by tsc layer the hollow man do you think that we are not hollow man obviously that's why the theory is introduced to us existentialism or crisis of identity who i am i don't know why you want to be a doctor why your parents who want to make you a doctor because this is a social phenomenon because our head is head is full of straw as a result we are telling mentioning the words he has already uttered okay nothing is there and what he says will be surprised in the last four lines the final sentence is this, this is the way the world is this is the way the world is this is the way the one and he repeats how many times three times three times what does it mean that it indicates that the modern world is not for what the people because they have no reason they are not to watch thinking about it and they are only sacrificing 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 and they are becoming the all is it clear now so any question from your sir about his biography i think in a nutshell we can again repeat few 
What is his full name? Thomas. Stern. Thomas Stern. Stern. Then, uh, when he was born? 18? 18? 18? 18? Uh, what is his father? His father was a... Uh, what he did? What did he do? He is a hydraulic... He is a high official of hydraulic brake company. His mother? was a volunteer where worked the humanitarian club and, and was teacher. also a teacher. Was teacher. teacher. He got married how many times? Two uh, times. Two times. Two yes. times. Yes. Okay. When uh, he uh, achieved Nobel Prize? 1948. When he died? 1965. 1965. Can anyone repeat remarkable writings of T.S. Eliot? First one. So we had the other observation. Observation. It was published when in 19? 1970. 1970. Then 1919. Points. Correction. Okay. When uh, has published his the greatest work of Westland? 1922. 1922. Okay. In uh, the love song of J. Alfred Provo. Alfred Provo. Okay. What is the subject matter of each? Love, love, indecision, indecision fragmentation, powerlessness, etc. Okay. Stream of consciousness is one of them. Anyway, the Western, how many parts are there? Five parts. Five parts. What are they? The burial of the The game of chess. The five parts. The five parts. The Dead by water. Dead by water. Thunder. What can you say? What can you say? And the significant writing. Another significant writing is the whole. And he says that the modern people are completely whole. Okay. Why? Because their heads is full of straw. They are fragmented. And what? They feel indecision. They cannot take any decision at all. 